Okay, what's this one? All right, interesting. Okay. Hello, ladies. I have a question about the idea of equality. Equality is something that many anarchists, feminists, and people on the left strive for. But is this applicable to romantic relationships? Just from my personal experiences and observations, I notice that the vast majority of women I attract are, are attracted to me because they feel like I'm better than them in some way. On the opposite side, women who feel like they are better than me don't get involved with me or dump me. This observation and other experiences has raised doubt in my mind that most people actually want someone they view as an equal. What do you think? To date people who are equally attractive, intelligent, cool, popular, etc. as you are. Or do you get with people with people I do get with people you feel are above or below you in some capacity. Interesting. Yes, 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 and yes, and yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an interesting question. That's such an interesting question. I mean, I think, I guess the, the basic answer would be I get with people who I think are... What are you doing? Sorry. I had a moment. No, 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 it's just one of those, like, I, I, I wonder if I know who, who has oh, this sort of thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I, I get with people who I think um, have something to offer me in some ways, and I think I have something to offer in other ways. Better than is not really a phrase I would use. But, like, yeah, I guess I wouldn't date someone who I think wouldn't, like, stimulate me or challenge me. But that doesn't mean I would also not date someone who I don't think I'm stimulating and challenging. <clears throat> yeah, also, the way that you listed that is, like, do you date people who are equally attractive, intelligent, cool, popular. So, you know, it could be someone that is way more attractive than you, but not that intelligent, cool, but would be popular. Popular could be someone... doesn't even register to me. That's a thing. Right? People are all social capital. Twitter followers. <laughs> I guess so. That's a thing, for sure. Okay, I guess it's something that, I mean, it's something that, it, that's not one that I would well, cool put Cool or popular list. is sort of similar, I suppose. I guess. Know, or someone that's more intelligent than me, but perhaps not as attractive or popular. Mm. Or someone that is actually like kind of a, a celeb in their own way, but is not that attractive, intelligent, but I don't know, fucking Love Island. Or, well, I guess they would be attractive. I don't know. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I think both of us have dated people that perhaps are better or worse than us in some aspects. Yeah. But some aspects. That's what I mean. It's yeah. like, it's a mix. Like, yeah. I don't want to feel inferior to someone I'm dating, but I also don't, I wouldn't date someone who I feel, think I'm better than. Well, it's interesting, but though, remember, well, no, I've asked you today in like two words, do you think you're insecure or arrogant? And we kind of said both, because mm. we mostly, I suppose, are. But I, sometimes I am thinking, I do sometimes think about this, like <clears throat> to get to the bottom of my personality, and I don't really know which one is the bottom as such. Am I like insecure to overcompensate over my arrogance? Or am I trying to play it much cooler than I actually am, though I really seriously think I'm an absolute like lazy waste man? I think both. <laughs> well, yes. And so I never can get to the bottom of that because every time I think it's that, I think, but maybe it's that, but maybe it's that, maybe it's that. Chicken or the egg. Yeah, yeah, Arrogance yeah, yeah. or insecurity. Yeah, yeah, arrogance or insecurity. And I never have gotten to right. the bottom of it. Because at times I'm a cocky little shit and at other times I'm like an insecure mess. Like... Yeah. But also, would you say that perhaps sometimes you've dated people that you do think, like, what you do think you're in some way, like... I mean, I don't know, I do fall into, I do fall into sometimes into um, a situation where I, I praise my partners and maybe to the point where it's too much because I hope and I expect the same, but it never comes. Hmm. But actually, I haven't necessarily even thought that they're that as such. I That's just hope that they will kind of like reciprocate. It's true. And then they think that and that sort of like reproduces it. And they really think they are actually better than me. Yeah, see, I don't do that. I do the opposite of anything, if yeah. anything. Like I make, I make fun of my partners to make them recognize that they're not better than me because I fear that they might think they are better than me. Hmm. So I actually do the opposite thing to get the same point. Yeah. Again, depends on the person and all that. But yeah, it sometimes you think I've overdone it. Yeah. But equality as a, like, equality isn't one thing. Like, you mm. listed, like, eight different variables, right? And I yeah. could list another five. Like, one of the most important ones to me, you didn't even have on the list, which is funny. Yeah. Or oh, to me, it would be class. Like, if they're richer. Right. I don't know. That, that's not a thing. But I'd be like, I don't know. Like, if, if they're, I would date them if they're richer, if there are probably many other bad things, which is terrible. Fuck it. Like, I just said it. I'm just too tired of being poor. I've never dated anyone rich, though, which was really like, <laughs> I wish I have. 
That's all right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sweep me up. <laughs> yeah, I got lucky in that respect. Yeah. The, um, I mean, there's no such thing as true equality. There will always be some axes on which you and your partner like don't match, right? Be it like even something as simple as gender, right? If like one person is a cis male and one person is a cis female, there is a, an imbalance, or be it race, or be it class, or be it a multitude of the kind of official oppressions, let alone the um, the other things you've mentioned, which are like characteristics. Like, yeah, true <laughs> true equality is not is not a th thing that can ever happen unless you're dating a clone of yourself. Well, I will say that you, the way that you phrase this, I noticed that the vast majority of women I attract are attracted to me because they feel like I'm better than them in some way. On the opposite side, women who feel like they are better than me don't get involved with me or dump me. Um, there is a tendency of a man that will present themselves in a very manipulative way where they will just seem like they're like really, really great at everything and they have their shit together and they're fucking amazing and shit. Whereas, you know, and then like, yeah, they're, they're well, not just, that's not necessarily men. I'm sure women do that too. Um, but yeah, they will just project this particular image and like that really is disarming to the other and it's intimidating as such. And so again, that gets reproduced and stuff. And, um, yeah, I guess just recognize when you don't do that. I don't know, like, I overcome fancy to the point where it's actually fucking tedious. Like, I, I'm i actually fucking great in many respects, but that's the arrogant part, right? Well, just, but I don't know, but uh, I, will, I will dismiss that, right? Because I think there's a difference between so self-esteem fucking... and arrogance, though. So. Like, valuing yourself is not the same as arrogance. I don't know. I guess I'm valuable in ways that are not necessarily stereotypical, as in, like... I don't know, I'm, I'm not, I haven't achieved, like, I don't know. I've achieved a lot in ways that are not quantifiable. I'm a such. 10 out of 10 unionist, babe. Yeah, yeah, but like, <laughs> I have no money, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting, because your question sounds like a kind of genuine anarcho one, but then your actual, like, you came, the, the nub of it is, women who are attracted to me like me because I'm better than them, women I'm attracted to dump me because they're better than me. <laughs> Which I'm like, is have the women who've broken up with you or that aren't interested in you said that? Like, also better than you in what way? Exactly. Like, that's what I don't get. Like, are they attractive? Are they, like, are they more attractive? Are they more successful professional? Are they a better activist? Are yeah. they, like, what, what, is the, what is the thing? I mean, have they said they're better than you? Or have they said how oh, you've fallen short in some way? Because if you've fallen short in some way that's, like, valid, yeah. that's a different thing to being, like, because you're not as hot or whatever. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, better than me. Yeah, in what way? That's what I don't get it. And, like, the way that you're framing this is, it just seems super subjective mm. I don't know I think even in my darkest moments and stuff I can still recognize that the people I'm attracted to are like really great and better in than me in ways that that's why I'm with them yeah, right? they have, to have something to offer me that like yeah. I don't already possess yeah 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 precisely yeah like like oh you came up with this idea and that's super interesting and I want to engage in that like yeah. I don't want a mirror of myself but nor yeah. do I want someone who is like stupid yeah yeah but i don't know like of course and especially that that is very valid in polyamory as well where you're like mm. um you know you don't necessarily as a concept you don't necessarily think you can get all of the things off of one person so you think that some people are, will fulfill you in ways that the other one can't mm. so what if one person is better in these subjective ways and then the other one is better in these other subjective yeah. ways like but they're not better than each other. Like they're just yeah, better great in their own ways. Weird. Like, <laughs> like there is no better. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's a weird rating as system. As long as they're nice to me, like. Yeah. If they're nice, funny, and have good politics. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if we have like kind of. Yeah. I feel like we're just dumping on all of the people that are asking questions. Asking but I just don't questions know really what to do with this question, like. Do well, you, I guess they wanted for us to get into like the intimacy of it all, which we have. Do you date people who are equally attractive, intelligent, cool? Yes. Do you date people who you feel like you're above or below you? Like above and below, you're using yeah. very like, very weird and like well, numerical language no, no, but I admit to describe that complex also, personalities. Yeah, yeah. I, I admit that in relationships I have also used language like, oh, you intimidate me and or like, I don't know, you're, you know, you're, you're so much more together and or like, yeah, but you're, you're pointing to specific qualities. Yeah, but when, you're not yeah. saying you're so much better than me, you're so much worse than me. No, yeah, because I'm also, I don't know, I guess I'm more intact in other ways. As yeah. Such. Like, like my politics are more intact and or... Yeah, someone being more together is one 
facet. It's not an yeah. entire yeah. rating scale. Yeah, I don't think you should ever date if you think someone is better or worse than you in general. Yeah. Like, I know for, for some exes are way funnier than I have been or ever will be. And so, uh, probably yeah, about some exes are way richer than I ever will be. Yeah, so... <laughs> But I was hopefully able to fulfill them in other ways. Yeah. And so, no. It's yeah. not. It's not. It's not as like kind of calculated, and also as much of an exchange value as it seems like you're putting on it in the phrase of it. Okay. Something to be said though. For instance, I I know someone who recently dated a person that went through a series of fairly. Well, I wouldn't say abuse. Well, I guess close to abusive relationships, just like not great. And they were basically, I guess, at a real low and didn't really have self esteem as such. And then the person that I know kind of lifted them up and kind of really like hyped them up as such and kind of were like, you know, now you go off and date with people that actually appreciate you and stuff. Oh, well, that is also kind of our beef, right? It's the whole thing of um, dating someone, making them really great, and then they go off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally annoying. <laughs> but that happened actually in the yeah, opposite gender. Yeah, but which anyways, is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> sorry, that's a whole other thing. Um, but that was kind of the agreement and such. And I guess in the way, the person that was in the sort of place where they were, you know, fearful of mm. everything, did think that the person that is getting them out of that situation is better. You can see someone as a hero if you're feeling low. Yeah. But that's still not better in every way. And if someone ever thought I was better than them, I would make it part of my responsibility to show them the ways in which they are great. Yeah, yeah. Not to see myself as their, like, yeah, white yeah, knight. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of similar to the question we had in one of our live shows, actually, about, like, I really like this girl, but I'm scared of, like, white knighting her because she's been in a tricky situation. What was the name of that? Oh, I wish we could put I can't it. Remember. We'll find it. We'll put it in the show notes. Because it kind of... It's a nice... It's not directly related, but it's a nice discussion about, like issues of trying to s of like having a savior complex because you think you're yes. like helping someone yeah 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 with definitely but that was a much more nicer framing of discussion than than you did mm. uh yeah i just i just think you're trying to quantify something that's much more like qualitative to be honest like it, it like you can't like rate all of these different factors on a scale of one to ten and add them up at the end and see whether you're better or worse next. like we're, we're not top trumps you know like that's not how people work. Fucking scary though if that is how people work. I once made a Top Trumps card deck of my friends for school. What it's does it do? Of... Like oh you know what Top Trumps is? It's, no. the, um, <laughs> it's this card game where you, it'll be like say a uh, Star Wars theme and you'll have each character and then we rate it on different things like shooting or oh. force or this and you exchange oh. them and you beat them on different ways. A bit like Pokemon or whatever. Yeah it's kind of like Pokemon exactly. Oh my god. We're not a Pokemon deck. No. Like people don't have like criteria out of 10 that are better or worse than other people. Oh my god but like that's kind of cute and terrible at the same time no? Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like 14 when I did it it's fine. <laughs> it's fun. Uh. So the point is, don't be approaching friendships and relationships like that. And when someone leaves, you don't be like, oh, well, it's fine because she only scored a four on this criteria and I scored a six. Or, oh, it's terrible because she scored an eight and I only scored a seven. Like, yeah. And all these people who've said they've not been interested in you because they're better than you, is that just something you're, Honestly, you're putting on them? Or have they actually said that? Because if your approach to people is, oh, they think they're so much better than me when they aren't dating you, then that sounds like a you problem. It reads quite sociopathic, I'm going to put it out there. <laughs> Honestly, it really does. It's weird, though, because they use the, like, anarchist feminists and oh, of course people they fucking left do. language. Have you had this thing where, like, men use me feminist language at here to fucking to put you down? Well, yeah, I might have heard of that. that. I might have written five paragraphs about that earlier today in a rant. <laughs> it became less of a book review and more of a every man that has ever wronged me. <laughs> As happens. I might be abusive, but I'm open about my feelings, Rowan, so it's okay. Thank you for sharing. Please disregard my, like, agency as long as you're being woke. Yeah, yeah, love it. All right, should we move on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, should I check things? Again, I feel like I've, I don't 